Hey, I'm Knives Monroe, and you're watching Good Content. There is a 27-year-old hungry creative um, filmmaker who recently moved during the Great Pandy of 2020 from New York City to Portland, Oregon. I've been following this filmmaker for almost four years. From his tenure documenting the hustle and grind of entrepreneur and content creation master Gary Vaynerchuk to his Adobe residency of 2019. Tyler Babin is an extraordinary creative director and designer, but I like Tyler Babin for his video making and his visual storytelling. This is a kid who spills his guts out on every video. He's a hybrid, master of photography from the school of Chase Jarvis and a brilliant video maker on the cusp of his prime. The video I wanna talk about today is his most underrated. Sadly, you never know what video is going to pop and hit your recommended page, but for some inexplicable reason, the great algorithm really slept on this video. This is what I want to talk about. I thought, wow, those are dope. I've got to have them. There was only one problem. $250? Am I made of money? Good thing I have this. All right, change of plans. We're gonna make our own. Tyler Babin is a kid who inspires me to pick up my camera and make videos, no matter how jaded, jealous, pissed off, bitter, angry, depressed, despondent I am. And this video lit a fire in me. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white vans. And is one of the bright spots of 2020. There's been a lot of trends on YouTube when it comes to content creators, some of which I too can find myself guilty in taking part in. One of those trends is this concept of the come up, the rise. It's not exactly hustle porn, but it is sort of self-masturbatory, look at me, I'm crushing it content. Tyler Babin is totally known for that, and he's inspired me with videos from that ilk. This video is not about that at all. There's no flexing in this video. There is no look at me. This is good old fashioned storytelling. There's nothing more pretentious than a filmmaker. I'm splashing around trying to make waves to give this video a little bit more attention and I think it deserves it. It's a video about customized vans and the grand scheme of things it's not exactly philosophical. What it did for me was remind me that it's not about gear and it's not about hustle porn and it's not about anything other than good old fashioned storytelling. As a filmmaker, that's what we're here to do. It reminded me, fuck what everybody else thinks and make stuff that you'd wanna see. Two quotes that have been on my mind a lot lately are protect your mental and you've got so much to give. These will be the structure of our design and they'll make it a little bit more personal for myself. Step two, practice. Tyler Babin, thank you for making this video. It was one of the only bright spots of 2020 for me. We watch a lot of bullshit and we consume a lot of garbage that makes us wrestle with the dark side in ourselves. I've been guilty of watching content that makes me petty, bitter, jealous, that makes me covet my neighbor essentially. And I've had enough of it. Your video enlightened and inspired me and put me back on the track to make stuff that I care about even if nobody's watching. Not that nobody's watching your content, but a lot more people could, but I felt like you made something pure, something worth your time. And your video brought out the best version of me that sometimes I forget's there, and thank you for that. All in all, I'd call this pretty good content. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and if you don't like this video, leave a comment and start some shit down below. Either way, it helps me. I love you guys. My name is Knives Monroe. Keep a force filled around your heart, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.